Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Breakaway. With Mike Greenlee, I'm Audra Martin. If you like offense, tonight had a ton of it. Unfortunately, it went in favor of the San Jose Sharks. The Minnesota Wild found themselves in two different four-goal deficits. They battled back three goals in the third period alone, but they fall 6-5 to five tonight on the road. And it's one of those games where you got to give the team credit for battling back, but when you fall down for nothing after the first period, that is hard to overcome. There's a lot of uh, swings in the NHL these days, uh, two, three, four goals even. But you can't count on that. You can't count on the fact that you're going to be able to come back. I mean, there were 11 different goal scorers in this game, and the Minnesota Wild lost the first period uh, four to nothing. They won the rest of the game five to two. So it's got to tell you that if you were able to shore things up a little bit earlier in the hockey game and don't force yourself to chase and open the game up, you're going to be competitive all the way through the game. But you just can't have, be flat-footed against the San Jose Sharks in the Shark Tank because you know uh, that they're going to come after you early in the game. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Tonight, a 6-5 final, a game that saw 11 different skaters find the back of the net. For the Minnesota Wild, Eric Stahl continues to stay red hot. He now has 13 points in his last nine games. Tonight also saw Jules Eriksson and Luke Cunning with multi-point performances. And Ryan Donato get his first goal of the season. So, yeah. A tough loss, but still plenty of positives to take away for the head coach. You know what? When they say uh, uh, we can't score or anything else, uh, we can score. And uh, we can play with, with pace and with speed. And, and I think our forechecking, once we started forechecking them in the second period, it, it showed um, that, you know, we, we can be a, a good team like that. So the road trip continues with game three of four. This time it's a stop in the desert where they will take on the Arizona Coyotes. Saturday night, with everything getting underway at 6.30 on Wild Live on Fox Sports North. So the Wilds, uh, you know, have a day to forget about this one, regroup, get back to work against the Arizona Coyotes. A good team, really right in the middle of the pack there, have been battling for third place in the Pacific Division. And a good challenge for Minnesota if they can you know, just take the momentum of the fact that, yes, they rallied multiple times here tonight, just came up a bit short. Yeah, I mean, they have to, they have to manage their game. We talked about it at the outset. You have to have good defensive structure, especially when you play on the road. So the Minnesota Wild, if they're able to find their game early, yes, they're going to be facing their former goaltender, Darcy Kemper, who is near the top or at the top of the league right now with uh, just under a 94 save percentage. So he's having a great start to the season. They have a lot of good young talent and even some veteran talent in Arizona. So Arizona's uh, about as close to the uh, playoff picture that we've seen in quite some time. So they're motivated. They're a good, a good young team. We'll see if the Wild are able to bounce back into the win column because I love the way they respond responded in both of these road games mm -hmm. when they went down but you just can't go down by four yeah. because boy that's an uphill climb that's almost impossible it is it was a, a valiant effort but it falls short tonight for the wild they fall to two and nine on the road so far this season we'll see if they can get back in the win column on saturday against the coyotes we'll see you then for mike greenlay i'm audra martin thanks for joining us on this late night edition of wild breakaway